multi-generational kitchen is a space that is shared by three or four generations. Roughly 60% of the UK population say they'd be interested in living in a multi-generational space. It needs to be safe. Um, it needs to accommodate people who are doing all sorts of different things. A multi-generational kitchen is important for all of us. I mean, we, we all want to age well. We've all got a, a stake in the future. We all, all know it's something we're all going to do. An age inclusive kitchen where we can uh, enjoy ourselves, where we can benefit from that social space. Um, a product which is an aspirational product rather than a, a product of desperation, I think is, is, is really important. What we're really trying to do here is to create living rooms in which you cook, in which all the family can cook and eat. It becomes a place where people congregate, inevitably. It's around people being able to perhaps do homework, play games, maybe even do hobbies, as well as conversation. And then finally, cooking. Food is important to retain people in a kitchen. I want people to stay in kitchens as long as possible. And I think this is the kind of kitchen where they can stay. Now, there's some very practical things too, like there's at least four places where you can prepare food, for example. All the work surfaces rise and fall, so it doesn't matter what height you are to use it. Now, also, there's a very interesting thing about the height of work surfaces, which is that if you change the height, you change the way people use them and what they do on them. You almost create behavioural change, and that's very evident here. One of the challenges of multi-generational living is the complexity of what's going on, the complexity of use, the risks that are created by multiple use and therefore no one person perhaps in control of what's going on. And it needs to be very flexible in terms of accommodating different levels of need. We tend to focus on particular generations and therefore we very often stigmatise other generations. But what we're trying to do here is not focus on why people have problems, but focus on the problems that we all have. So have I left a hub on unattended? Yes, I have. Is that an age-related problem? No, it isn't. It's trying to, to do those things, understand those things. You can be in a wheelchair at any age. You can have cognitive impairments at any age. So it's trying to focus on the problems and then create an aspirational space where we're able to address those problems. you'll be able to adjust quite a lot of aspects of the furniture, particularly the heights, but other things too, and make this kitchen much more responsive. And also we can make this kitchen more responsive to eco issues. For example, we can save on water, we can save on electricity, we can monitor the uh, airflow more carefully. There are about 10 or 15 items in this kitchen which could stand alone within the context of a, a more standardised kitchen. The four generations using the same space at the same time or at different times but um, with different combinations of people is actually extremely difficult to make both an enjoyable and safe experience. So that's what drove the creation of this. You go, well, actually, if I can make it work for four generations and all of the needs and challenges across the generations, then we can make something work for any combination thereof. The UK's National Innovation Centre for Ageing has put both intellectual expertise into this, um, helping to, to form the designs, the concept. It's brought stakeholders together. It's helped identify some of the key sources of funding, which has helped develop this prototype as we, we see behind us. And we've also provided direct financial resource and resource from some of my, my colleagues who've provided that on the ground project management support to enable us to get to where we are today. When we met Voice at the workshops, we sat down with about 30 people over a two-day period and we listened to what they wanted from a, a multi-generational kitchen and some of the ideas are incorporated here today. So I think it's got a very human touch to it. It's got little things for everybody. It appeals to people's hearts and, and, and souls and emotions, not just to being a manufacturer's idea of what a kitchen should be. I would like to say a very big thank you to, um, I certainly wouldn't be here um, otherwise, and that's legal in general. A particular very big thank you to Kerrigan Proctor uh, for supporting Johnny Gray Studios to allow me to develop the design um, and um, bring this project uh, uh, to this building. 
there's huge opportunity here. If you're interested in those opportunities, whether you're a builder, developer, investor, or whatever, UK's National Innovation Centre for Aging would be delighted to talk to you about the opportunities and how you can realise those for your business. Uh, we want to change the world together with you.